Well, from farm bill funding to market volatility, crop insurance continues to be a big focus for farmers as we approach the end of the year. Our good friend Brooks York with AgriSampo joins us now with some industry guidance. Brooks, happy Friday to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, all of the above. Thank you for joining us this morning. So I have to ask you, you know, looking at the 2023 insurance period, kind of winding down at this point, can you give us a general idea as far as a number of claims that a company the size of AgroSampo has over the course of a crop year? Well, Suzanne, you know, when we look back, we talked a little bit about this over the last few months, but we look back, we kind of have to remember we start the claims process in the spring. We've got things like prevent plant and replant that we look at. And then throughout the year, we get the typical crop loss and the revenue loss that uh, most people associate with crop insurance. But when you combine all those together, a uh, company the size of Agrisampo, it sounds like a, a big number, but claims and inspections can be you know, in the six digit range. So um, they all kind of combine. You don't see these things coming necessarily right off the bat, but they all combine and uh, makes for a lot of work for adjusters in the field, even in a normal year. Wow, that is a lot of work. And thank God, though, that we have crop insurance. Absolutely. I know it plays a critical role in helping bridge the gap for farmers in so many challenging times. However, though, overall, I want you to paint a picture for us. Overall, to rural America as a whole, can, if you can maybe give us an example of why crop insurance is vital to rural economies. You know, Suzanne, I think that when we think about, you know, rural America, we think about the small towns, the counties whose primary economy is farming. And so if you take a, you know, if you take a drive down Main Street America and you just look at things that we may not associate, we, we all think about seed and fertilizer and chemical, but when you look at things deeper and you look at uh, Main Street um, in rural America, we see, you know, office supply stores, we see auto parts stores, it may be the dry cleaners. Uh, and, and, you know, when, when we listen to that, uh, those uh, small town sports, a lot of times on the radio, a lot of the sponsors, guess who they come from? They come from farmers. And so crop insurance, you know, it um, while it affects farmers directly and it helps them, like you say, bridge, bridge that gap in a tough year, it really helps everyone in rural America. It gives us that foundation that we need. Absolutely. There is a ripple effect. Uh, should anything happen to farmers, it really spills out through the entire community. So, so important to have crop insurance. Brooks, thank you so much for being here. Agrisampo Producer Services Director Brooks York.